Hello to everybody and this is a very quick review of Gunner glasses. I'm saying it's quick because I won't really tell you much about them. There is a lot of reviews of this sort that describe what actually these glasses are capable of, what these glasses are used for and what is the reason for you to buy some of them. But generally speaking, these glasses help people a lot. If you're working with computer, if you have continuous eye strain throughout your workday, throughout your life basically, these glasses will help you, I'm telling you that. I won't go into technology right now, but I'm just showing you the review of these precise things that I have here. These are the scope glasses. I've bought them for my brother as a present. These are new. I haven't given them yet, but I will. Uh, the thing about the scope glasses is that they are very light. They weigh, I don't remember how much they weigh, like 20 grams or something, but they are really light. So you can't feel them when you're using them on your head. You put them on your head and they can stay there for a very long time and you won't feel them. These are the Desmos. They are mine. I used them for like two years already. They are really light as well and they are rimless. There is no rim. So the reason I bought them is actually this feel of view they give. Without a rim, they cover your face completely. So you can't actually feel that you have less. But they are a bit heavier and they are round as you may see. So not everyone may like this roundness. So being this round, they cover your face completely. But at some cases, when you have a source of light behind you, the source of light may get retracted from the side and you may see it with your eyes. So not everyone may like it. So these are the scopes. They look smaller, but because they are a little bit round as well, the field of view is covered and this rim is small. So it wouldn't be a problem for you. Because there is another type of glasses that I own and they are called vinyl. They look like this. The reason that I bought them is the way they look. But the thing with them is they look stylish. That is true. They look quite stylish and nice, but they are heavy. They are heavy, they are fully metallic, sturdy construction, but because being this heavy, it's difficult to hold them on you all the time. And when you work like 10 hours a day, this may become a problem because they're heavy and you get fatigued just because of the fact that you're wearing this heavy thing around your head. And the rim as well, the rim is big, so when you're looking through them, you can see the rim and it does interfere with your field of view. Because I do care about how stylish they are, I, I use them in my office. But if we go back to our Steel Series type glasses, these are more comfortable to use for a long period of time. I would say these are the most comfortable, but they will not look as nice if you have a big head, because they are narrow. The fill of view is covered completely, but they are narrow, so it may look funny on some people. These are most expensive of them all, and it's sometimes it's difficult to find them. But still, I did manage to find them. The construction of the Desmo glasses is quite reliable, I'd say. The way this thing works is, it is reliable. But the scope is different. The construction of this thing is plain metallic joint. And what I've read from the reviews, this may become a problem later because these joints are not very reliable. It's just metal into metal, probably aluminum, I think. So it goes into it and it does break with time. It takes like a year or two to break, but this thing breaks. So there are a lot of gunner glasses of this sort, many, many different models that use this type of joint. It's very light and easy to use but the durability is compromised here. You can see. It looks reliable, but when you do this many, many, many times over and over again, this metal gets eaten by itself and goes away. And this thing may break. This one is different, as you may see. More reliable, more expensive type of joints. And these ones use even more reliable type of joints, but they are heavy and more difficult to wear for long periods of time. So there are a couple pros and cons of gunner glasses. Pros. One of them is eye evaporation. What well, actually is that this does apply to any type of glasses that you're using. So the thing is that 
your eyes have to stay moisturized. But when you're using the computer or any kind of screen, when you're looking directly into it for a long period of time, you tend to blink less, just like that. So you tend to blink less and your eyes get evaporated faster. Your eyes get dry because the oxygen and the air hit straight into them and without blinking, the liquid, the moist goes away. So glasses, they block the air, so the evaporation is not that fast. They reduce the strain because of this evaporation block. One more reason is the pixelization of the screen and the color difference. It sounds funny, but the thing is that your screen has pixels and every pixel may be different, like one may be black and the other pixel may be white. And the difference of two colors is very, very high. This color difference is not found in nature and our eyes is not used for this. So what the glasses do, this amber filter that you see, it makes the gradient much softer. So the black becomes yellowish and the white becomes yellowish. So the difference, the variance of these two colors is not that straight. So it does not strain our retina that much. The more saturated are the colors, the more the different are the pixels of your monitor, the higher is the retina strain and the more difficult it becomes for your eye to distinguish all of this. It just strains. The colors may look brighter and nicer, more interesting, maybe good for movies, but when you're using this on a regular basis, when you're working, when you read, especially when you read texts, a lot of text, you strain your eyes a lot. And that's why the people who read from the screens all the time have the strain and this becomes a big, big problem because their eyes get red. You get this fatigue. The gunner glasses do not completely remove this problem, but at least they make the variance of colors softer so it doesn't damage your retina that much as it would normally damage without them. There is one more thing about these glasses. They make the picture bigger. So they magnify the view. So whatever you see, you see it a little bit bigger. Most people benefit from it. And that is one of the features I like the most about these glasses. And as well, of course, there are some downsides. One of them is price. These glasses are not cheap. They cost around like $80 a piece. Depending on which one you like, some may go even up to 150. But there are a lot of the discounts online so you can find a suitable pair for you for like $35 to $50. One of the downsides as well is that these glasses get dirty really quick. You just grab them once it doesn't really matter how clean you are this type of lenses they attract a lot of fingerprints and once you land a fingerprint on them it's really difficult to remove it if you use your shirt or something like that to remove the fingerprint then it's easy to scratch the lens and it happened to many many of the glasses they get scratched because uh, the lens is not completely glass this lens is plastic it's not some cheap type of plastic it's an expensive plastic but it isn't a glass, so the durability of the lens itself is not like glass. It is easy to get scratched. Sometimes it looks sturdy, but sometimes if you use a cloth, if you apply it heavily, then you may see some scratches. And of course, it's not possible to remove them. So uh, be careful when you wipe them. Personally, I just wash them with soap and that's it. I don't usually wipe them not to get scratches. Good for office, good for work, good for home. Not very good for designers, for people who work with colors because they change the colors. As you may see, they are amber and they change the colors a little bit. So if you work with the design, with the graphical design, maybe not suitable for them, you may want to get the translucent not colored glasses, but the effectiveness of those, those glasses is not as high. Gunner makes them, but the effectiveness is not as high. The amber ones are the best ones. And personally, I don't use them to watch movies because they change the color of the movie a little bit. So the movie is not what the director designed it to be, but just personally for me. But generally, if I work, if I read a lot, if I serve the internet, I use them all the time. And over the years, the fatigue of my eyes is reduced drastically. So right now, whenever I work, I use them all the time. So this is it, guys. A small review of three models of Gunner glasses that I've personally used. I hope you liked it, guys. Stay in touch.